Hello, YouTube. My name is Diabetor. And the time has come to enter the realm of shadow. Now, who are you? Hi. Hi. Ah, were you guided here by kindly Mikula? I am Leda. And like you, I was guided by Faith along his honorable path. Touch the withered arm, and you too will be transported to the realm of shadow where Mikula the Kind now dwells. My compatriots are there already. Like us, they have heard kindly Mikula's call. If you can find them, they are certain to lend you aid. Come now, touch the withered arm, and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. Those are, those are the lines of the trailer. <laughs> Come now, I will not be far. I will not be far behind. All right. Uh, I'm confident I have no further preparations to make. Uh, yeah. So this is my new game plus three character. I'm probably going to stream later, but I have to go to work tonight. Uh, and I only have a couple hours right now, so there's no point in, like, setting anything up. Because everyone else is already playing the DLC. Uh, before I do, or before I enter it, real quick, I'm just going to go to the round table hold. And see if anything has potentially changed. I highly doubt that there is, but... Still worth taking a quick look. Uh, let's see, this bitch is still dead. Uh, yeah. Gideon's dead. So I've already beaten the game. Uh, yeah. We should talk to Roderica and Hugh, and when nothing happens, I shall go to the thing. See. You're here for some spirit tuning. Oh, wait. I see. Uh, I think he I knew he I think we could. It's only problem. Oh Renee, he may I'd like to Okay. Nothing in here. Oh, look at that. I never picked up D's armor. Why did I not do that? Okay. Let's go to the realm of shadow. Needle Knight Leda. Interesting. Very interesting. Come now. I will not be far. I will not be far behind. Alright, Nicola. <laughs> Let's fucking do this. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Head to the realm of shadow. Okay. I was expecting there'd be a cutscene, but I guess not. Uh, is there anything immediately behind me? Oh, and also, uh, we're gonna need uh, this. First thing you do is immediately turn around, of course. I have to leave a message. I can't think of anything funny right now because I'm sleep deprived. Wow. The gravesite plane. Alright, now, I don't know anything about whether or where the DLC actually is. I haven't opened the map yet or anything or heard anything about it. My prediction is that it's not in the middle of the, the lands between right beneath the earth tree like everyone predicted. My prediction is that it is um, on the east or the southeast corner of the map, 
off to the east of the Weeping Peninsula, and I'll explain why um, in a minute. So let's open the map and see what happens. Oh. Okay, it just has a completely separate map. Okay. Still. Oh, wow, we're on the gravesite plane. Oh my god. That was good read. We got a big boy over there. Shadow Realm Blessing. Scattered Tree Blessing and Revered Spirit Ash Blessing. Oh, okay. I don't have any of these things. Uh, excuse me, I don't have any of these things yet, obviously. Now, let's see. Uh, no indication that there's any change to my stats. And nothing in the recent items tab, which I enabled in my settings. So, yeah. So the way I normally play the game, or when I play, you know, games that I am newly exploring, is, um, you know, if I'm supposed to go one direction, right, I'm clearly supposed to go that way. If I'm supposed to go that way, then I'm gonna go every other direction first, such as to these little woods that are over here. So let's see what's going on. Oh, look at that, another big boy down there. I should probably equip my telescope in a uh, quick item slot. Yeah, let's do that. Really? Ah, okay. Because I'm gonna want to look at shit a lot, of course. Yeah, there's a big boy down there. That's cool. Okay, okay. What's this? Rada fruit. Very like fruit that grows into spirit grave grass. Materially used for crafting items. Easily found everywhere in the realm of shadow, though its bitter taste makes it unsuitable for consumption by humans. Okay. Very interesting. I wonder if I'm going to be able to make super duper grower raisins. White flesh mushrooms. Milky white mushroom that grows in sullen lands. Easily found everywhere in the realm of shadow. The flesh of the mushroom is similar to raw meat and can serve as pot innards. Oh boy, new throwing pots. If you know me, you know I love my throwing pots. <gasps> a golden goat. Or a ram of some kind. Then these bones. interact with in any way. Doesn't look like it. Aha, uh -huh, a road. And what's this? Red flesh mushrooms. Red mushroom that grows in solemn lands. The flesh of the mushroom is similar to raw meat and can serve as pot and roots. Oh hey. Hi. Ow. That wasn't very nice. Rada fruits. So those guys are wandering nobles of the Shadow Realm, of course. Don't see skull. Not to get. Not shaped lump of resin that exuded from the roots of trees, found near tree roots everywhere in the realm of shadow, serves as a primitive catalyst, making it suitable for processing using sorceries, incantations, and the like. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, okay. The woods are a bit more difficult to tackle. Ah, here's a map. Very nice. I was actually about to open my map and see if I could see the map obelisk. For the record, are these marked? Yes, they are. Okay. The gravesite plane. A somber plain covered in spirit graves. The spiral tower of the Horn Scent lies to the northwest, and the entire expanse is marred by the harrowing ravages of war. 
Interesting. So the horn sent to the northwest is uh, probably that. The gravesite plan. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Alright. So, I'm clearly supposed to go this way. Like I said, I'm going to check out what's over here first. And I'm glad that I decided that because there's a thing right there. Uh, before I do that, I will take a look at this. Because uh, I want to know what this is. So, let's do that. Hello, Mr. Ghost. Everyone, burn to cinders, burned away, put to the torch by Mesmer and his lot. What did we do to deserve such a fate? We merely lived our lives, we lived in peace. Yeah, I feel that. I try to live in peace, and despite that, people on YouTube tell me that my Volcano Manor video was a waste of time. <laughs> The Scorched Ruins. So I wonder if there's going to be a cellar here, like in other ruins in the regular game. Let me switch to a faster one. Uh, because why not? I'm going to go with this. I'm using a quality build for the DLC, because uh, I just decided that it's what I want to use. I want to be able to have access to a lot of different Ashes of War and stuff. So uh, I'm a level 168 character, 60 Vigor. 41 strength, 65 dex, 33 faith for uh, Havel Shabiri and a couple other incantations, uh, and then, yeah. And so I figure having high strength and dex will enable me to use just about everything um, available in the DLC, and so, uh, yeah. Fucking throw shit at me! Hmm. Get out of here. What's this? The Greater Potentate's Cookbook, number one. Let's see. Uh, uh. A record of crafting techniques of the Greater Potentate who roamed lands near and far. Haunted by the grotesque practice of his village of birth, he stuffed great pots with all manner of things. Yes! Required the knowledge craft the following hefty fire pots. Uh, oh, I was looking forward to these. What does it look like and what does it require? Red flesh mushrooms, a heavy, hefty cracked pot, and black pyrefly. Flies and burnt in war torn lands. Third enemy severe to inflict severe fire damage. B strength and strength, D scaling and dex. Craftable item prepared using a capacious cracked pot. A goodly amount of materials is sealed inside. Throw out enemies to inflict severe fire damage. A goodly amount of materials. Damn. Damn realm of shadowers. And their damn grammar. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was like a fleshy thing. Play job. Wait. have to see if I can get up here now. Looks like I really can't. There's probably like a staircase around the other side or something, but I'm gonna do this. What's this? Black fireflies. Why, thank you. Conditions of rump. Hell yeah, brother. Black pyrefly. Fiery butterfly with black cinder wings. Materially used for crafting items. Hang on, I have to rub my eye. Okay. Flies in war-torn lands that have been scoured by Mesmer's flame. They burn in dark and slender ribbons of fire. Let me take another look at that picture. It's a butterfly. So this is Mesmer's butterfly. So everyone who is like, oh, the smoldering butterfly actually represents Mesmer. They're wrong. <laughs> it's, it was Melina all along. Very interesting.
And that that firefly does have um like the the membranous wings like a uh, uh, mess with appears to have. The shadow puppy. I love the puppies. Shadow Realm Rune 2. Oh god, people are gonna be used to gain 10,000 runes. Oh, look at that, it just straight up says it in the description now. That's nice. Golden remnants of the grace bestowed upon those who fell in the realm of shadow. Used to gain 10,000 runes. The shadow tree is the shadow of the earth tree. No wonder grace shines ever so brilliantly. Wow, it's about the, the foil of shadow versus the, the real thing. The, 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 light or whatever, I don't fucking know. What's this? For a calling finger remedy, okay. Cool, cool. Oh, my frame rate, no. And of course, I, I'm using the Miklan Night Sword because not only is it a cool quality weapon with a really cool moveset, um, but also, you know, I figure being the Miklan Night Sword, it's kind of appropriate for the, uh, DLC. Mm, I like the way these look. And I like the way they break with the, the tops coming off like that. That that puts juices in my brain. Wow. So let's see what we got. We got Big Boy, number one. Ooh, there's like hands coming off of it. I wonder if those hands on top like animate and like grab shit to like dump them in. Like a yunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's that? Statues. Those look kind of like the, um, uh, the ones that point you towards the flipping, uh, catacombs in the vanilla game, but they're clearly different. They have, like, wings and shit. I wonder if those will animate into imps, maybe? Who knows? Uh, but yeah, so we got something over there to check out. Looks like some kind of... I want to say a mausoleum, though. Who knows? It might just be whatever the fuck these things are. We've got that. Hmm, we got a green area. We got a waterfall. We got some spindly boys. That looks like it's probably going to contain something useful. Uh, ooh, we got hanged people. We got a set of grace over there. Okay, very good. Right. So I'm gonna finish checking out these runes, I'm gonna grab that grace, and then we're gonna go back the other way like I marked on the map. Uh, yeah. Giant uh, map? No, I guess not. Okay. Okay, black fireflies, they didn't look particularly black to me. They looked red, orange even, but I guess that's what color Mesmer's skin is, so, yeah. Just getting started. Ooh, this does open. I wasn't expecting it to, but it does. Oh, I love loot. The Blade of Mercy. Raises attack power after each critical hit. Ooh, that's a talisman. A thin bloodstained dagger, no longer fit for use. Raises attack power after each critical hit. Horn sent employed this to honorably end the suffering of a compatriot. After claiming numerous lives, the dagger is now broken, but has acquired a spectral aura. Wow. Well, of course I'm gonna have to try out the new talisman. <laughs> Weight of 1.3, which means they expect it to be a worthwhile one. <laughs> By the way, I get really bad post-nasal drip in the summer, and um, you're gonna hear me snorting a lot. I'm sorry, I, I can't help it. Uh, please don't compare me to Dark Side Phil. <laughs> I don't want... I don't think it's... Fireflies. Ow. Can you calm the fuck down? Let's see. 
Let's see how this attack rating increases. So let's see. Currently at 591 AR. 710. Uh, that's a weed number. <laughs> okay. So that's like a 20% increase after a crit. Which is kind of kind of dope. That is going to be a new top tier talisman in Diabetes' eyes. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. How long does it last for? 10, 15 seconds, maybe? Interesting. Very interesting. Again, I'm really sorry about the snorting. I. It sucks, I know. It's annoying as shit and kind of gross, but I just, I can't, I can't do anything about it. Oh, that's this. Okay. Very nice. Is there anything over here? Ooh, deers. That is not what I wanted to do. Some strong-ass deers. Die, fucker. Okay. And yes, I know the plural form of deer is deer. I call it deers because it annoys people. <laughs> oh, that's the pup. I know. All your resentment lingers yet. The raw stuff from which I shall surely forge a curse upon the dastard Mesmer's head, upon America's children, each and all. Hmm. Very interesting. There's a bunch of people hanging from this tree, which is strong symbolism of just how fucked up. Mesmer's purge in Nick or America's reign was what's this grace called? Scorched Runes. Uh see now I don't know if I'm like an idiot or not, because you know, in the, the vanilla game all the ruins all the ruins type areas have um you know the flip in uh, basements and stuff to explore. So I'm wondering if this ruins has a basement or not, and if that's, again, going to be, like, a recurring thing in the DLC. Or if, you know, it's just like, oh, find the the door with the chest. Bada-bing, bada-boom, you're done. So I have to explore it more thoroughly. Uh, and kind of compulsively. <laughs> And I also want to pick up stuff, like these fireflies. Assuming there's there's gotta be a boss of some kind, right? Oh, there's a whole ass item that I missed here. What the hell? Am I stupid? Oh hell yeah, I got that hefty crack pot. combat with something. Something's aggroed on me. I'm already in this room. Already came over here. I guess I'll go double check to make sure this other door wasn't openable. Uh, container required for crafting hefty cracked pot items. This hefty empty pot somehow mends itself when broken. Essential vessel for crafting hefty cracked pot items. The materials of magic sealed within deploy their effects when the pot is thrown. The greater potentates of Bonnie Village craft these and store them in a frozen jail. Mm. Very interesting. Mm. 
Don't mind if I do. Hell yeah, son. My only limiting reagent right now. I'm not actually gonna keep the telescope in my quick bar uh, for reasons that we saw already. Um, but yeah. Uh, I had a thought and I just completely lost it. So, that's how Diabetor's mind works. See, so yeah, I feel kind of dumb, like, running around in circles here, trying to find something, but, you know, the, it's a pattern that's established in the vanilla game, and, uh, I'm wondering if it's being followed here or not. What's up? of the pyre flies. There's a simpler way to get up to that, isn't there? That's around the corner. It seems like this exists just to lead me up here to this door where the, the talisman was. And the talisman seems like a pretty clearly valuable piece of loot that would seem to be the primary loot of something like this. So I guess this ruins is probably done. If it turns out that there's a boss here, I will come back later. Because, uh, you know, let's get a fucking move on. Ooh, that's a glowing skull. Get back here, you son of a bitch. I job. I missed. Broken rune. Worth 500 runes, so they're not as worthless as they are in the game. Golden Trace with the grace bestowed upon those who fell in the realm of shadow. Used to gain 500 runes. Broken and fading, threatening to dissipate entirely. And yet, somehow, still more valuable than a golden rune. Right. So where am I? That's where I'm going. So let's follow the road this way. Wow, look at that sky. That's the ghost. Okay. I heard the, the twinkle of the ghost or whatever. I guess we'll just follow the road and see what appears to be along the way. Instead of running back and forth inside the uh, woods here. But I do want to take a look at this real quick. Oh. Under attack? What was that? Why was that? He's got jump scared. <laughs> <laughs> Here's something behind me. Oh shit! Oh god! Loger, the Beast Claw. I could try to shield crash him, but I'm not going to. Oh, he did a jump attack, so it wasn't variable. He does a fuckload of damage. Uh, let's hit him with the old... Uh, oh god, maybe I should take this a little bit more seriously! Uh. Hyper armor on that jump attack, okay. This guy is an ungodly amount of fucking health, but I guess that's the point of DLC, isn't it? I have hyper armor too, fuck. 
Yeah, get out of here. Logger the asshole is more like it. Give me that new weapon. Hell yeah, son. Beast Claw. Presumably it's going to be down here. Yeah. Beast Claw does slash damage. Ash of War slash claw, or savage claws. Does bleed buildup. Requires strength and dex. Weapon in the form of a carnivorous beast's vicious claws. Used to perform bestial slashing attacks. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uncanny to humankind. An imitation of the esoteric technique of the horned warriors. Those who carry this weapon wield it as though they have been possessed by a savage beast. Skill, savage claws. Pounce like a beast to viciously slash into foe with left and right claws. Well, let's check out this moveset. Let's see, the one-handed moveset. Ah, wow. I am like... I am like... Tiger. Da. I bite. I scratch. Da. Okay, so imagine if claws had range. That's what this is. Ooh, wow. And that last two attacks there was me doing the R2 as a follow-up. Only it wasn't like an actual follow-up. Uh, I'm gonna go with my broadsword for now. I know my Fen Burge is my trusty weapon, but um, so far I've been fighting groups of enemies and I don't want to have a, a slow, unwieldy weapon because it just makes it take longer to kill them all. <laughs> Not risen. Uh, if there's anything else over here, I will come back to it later. Right now, I want to get a move on down the road, especially since it's nighttime and I can't see shit anyway. If only I had a friend. Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? Hello? Excuse me. Get up, idiot. Ooh. Oh. Okay. That was more than I was expecting from whatever this person is. Mesmer soldiers are tough as shit. Cool. <laughs> Do I still have my, uh, thing? I do. Glass shard, awesome. Black firefly. Arrows. Okay. down there. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Uh, oh, you know what I can do? Especially since they buffed bows that made them slightly less shitty. So I can do this. Wow. It doesn't look like wood or anything. It looks kind of like it's covered in cloth or something. And the grass down there is red. Ooh, now that is cool looking. Okay. It's it's like it's like Gallifrey. It's like the, the red plains of Gallifrey. Back when I was a nerd that used to watch Doctor Who before it turned to shit. When did it turn to shit? As soon as I grew up. Yeah, I'll say it. <laughs> This is is about to kick my ass. Judging by the stake America that's here. Is that a puppy? I love puppies. You with the bad boy. Get the 
fuck out of here. So I guess that talisman kind of turns, um, soldier guys into, like, um, I want to say, like, in, in Doom, you know, you get the, um, the, the mooks, and then when you kill them, um, you can get, like, a glory kill on them. They're essentially walking health packs. So these guys are kind of, like, walking damage boosts now with the, uh, the, uh, dagger, the Blade of Mercy. The shadow's too much for my graphics card. What's this? Dew gem. What is dew gem? Glows at night and blossoms mainly at the water side. Succulent plant that has been sucked on night tinged dew. Material used for crafting items. Glows at night and blossoms mainly at the water side. Said to have been used in the practice of sprite medicine not long ago. Or long ago. Interesting. I'm personally more of a cherry Pepsi guy, but <laughs> I don't mind some spray. <laughs> uh, uh, we make jokes around here, folks. You know, what's really interesting about like doing like a live commentary as I play something new is that I uh like talk to myself normally, you know, <laughs> so like. <laughs> um, fucking, it, it's like, you know, I, I'm just saying what I would normally say, but, or like in my own mind, but like out loud. Uh, I want to kill this chinchilla. Can I hit the fucking thing? Jesus Christ. But anyway. So like, you know, I'm saying what I would normally be thinking to myself, but I'm actually like saying it. And there's potential that someone might listen. a trumpet guy. What did he drop for me? Smithing stone three, okay. Seems a bit low. I would have expected that everything here would just drop like sevens and eights, but uh, you know, because this is a post end game area. Fire coil, what is that? Uses FP to, excuse me, uses FP to conjure a tiny fire snake. Okay, I have two of them. They're like the gravity stones or whatever. Device of fire used by Mesmer Soils. Soldiers. Lingering embers bundled into a coil. Craftable item. Uses FP to conjure tiny fire snakes from the spot where it is thrown. The writhing snakes pursue foes. Fire was a symbol of the crusade, and even Mesmer's rank and file soldiers would wield it. Interesting. Very interesting. And after that is... Maybe I should document my, uh... You know, journey. Praise the message. Good luck. hey -o. Get the thing. Your precious armory. Gratefully accepted. We will need it. Okay. So, you may or may not have noticed the big guy in the ruins in the water here. I noticed the big guy in the ruins in the water here. And the, uh, what do you call it? Stake America indicates to me that he's probably going to kick my ass. So, let's see how that goes. Or before I go get my ass kicked by him, let's see this. If only I had a hidden path. I'm doubtful if there's actually a hidden path here. Oh ho! Well, don't mind if I do. This man with a, a beast torch red torch, or beast repellent torch red torch.
Mesmer Soldier Reeves. Uh, this round ago. Interesting. Interesting. Reeves worn by soldiers who served Mesmer the Impaler, rusted, encrusted, and felt from fighting an unending war. War never changes. That's what they say in Fallout. I chop. That's my soldier home. Why does he wear the mask? Helm worn by soldiers who serve Mesmer the Impaler. The Iron Helm features a visor. Though the engraving upon the forehead is a scattered tree design, it is etched in gold. A small consolation to those forged to wage, forced to wage a war without grace or honor. Very interesting. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. I don't care about the pants right now. I want to say it looks vaguely like Batman, but not really. This... Maybe with the right setup, it might look decent looking. I don't know. It looks a little silly. Blessing of America. Why, don't mind if I do. Oh, look at that. They added divine blessings. Completely restores HP and heals all ailments. Special physic blessed by America, the queen of the earth tree. Completely restores HP and heals all ailments. America once created several of these physics for Mesmer's sake, but never again. Interesting. And is this a... It's probably, yeah, because I can't store these physics or, or my uh, flasks. So I was like, ooh, is, th is there just like a free full heal now that you get, like a, a wondrous physic? But no, it looks like it is uh, consumable, like the other, you know, divine blessings and shit from the Souls games. Or, yeah, so uh, I will not be consuming that anytime soon for dragons. That is a PvP item. I think I'm going to throw down like a low stone so that I can potentially see what the fuck I'm doing here. The Church of Consolation. Uh, let me look out the old... the old piercing thing. You know, at first glance I thought this guy was way bigger than he actually is. He is a knight. Oh. Fuck you, Mr. Knight. Not that strong. Yeah, fuck your shield. Let's see what this guy's move set looks like. Ooh. Whoa! That is cool. He's got some gold breaker type of shit going on. Wow. Space the shield bash. <laughs> I want to see if I can get a backstab. Oh! Can I now space that shield bash? Alright, fuck you. That's what I said. The black steel grief. Right, Smithing stone set. See? I told you. Great hammer. Can be a few, uh, infused with ashes of war. Interesting. Very interesting. Weapon of the Black Knights. Oh, look at that. Servants of Mesmer the Impaler. Great hammer of black steel with decorative embellishments in gold. Blessed with an Erd Tree incantation. Further holy imbuement will amplify the, inf the effect and greatly increase the armament's power. Guard counters cause a burst of power. Excuse me? That sounds cool. How much is it weigh? 12? Standard one handed hammer, the great hammer moveset. Same thing with the O2s. twos. So I assume that the guard counter is the um, the gold breaker looking thing. The moveset is exactly what you'd expect. Let's do a uh, guard counter and see how that works. Oh. 
That's probably why they mentioned that they buffed uh, um, the thingamajigs in the patch notes. Uh, the stance damage done by axes and great swords and shit. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll test that out in a minute. Um, these guys are not insubstantial. Okay, I should not attempt to guard that attack. Spinning slash saves the day as usual. Even after they nerfed it, it's still gonna be spinning slash. What's this? Scatter tree fragment. Hooray. Information about the scatter tree blessing. We're gonna use an X. Bolsters scatter tree blessing. A splinter of the scatter tree that contains golden brilliance, acquired at the Church of America and other places in the realm of shadow. Consume these at Sites of Grace to bolster your Scatter Tree Blessing. The Scatter Tree Blessing bolsters the bearer's ability to deal and negate damage, but has no influence outside the Realm of Shadow. It is said that when the Scatter Tree crumbles from its core... Excuse me. It is said that when the Scatter Tree crumbles from its core, that it will scatter across the entire Realm of Shadow. The people of the Ur Tree collect the splinters and use them in prayer. Very interesting. It can be found across the Realm of Shadow. Consume them at Sites of Grace to increase your blessing. Scatter Tree Blessing, blah blah blah, okay. Very interesting, very interesting. Let me kill this guy just for completion's sake. Uh, I kind of want to equip like the Silver Scarab. Maybe I shall, because I want more uh, item drops. I'm like, there's a headless America statue. And you see it doesn't have the full thingamajig behind it, the full um, uh, umbilical cord, it's that cut talisman that's behind her, I think, um, in the, the statue, so you see like the, the Third Church America and shit, where it's got like the, the three knots, she doesn't have that here, and I haven't looked into any discussion of this, oh wait, I see, is that a snake? Oh, that's just a piece of cloth, but yeah, so I wonder if this is somehow um, representing her before, like, merging with Radagon or something, because that, that talisman, um, its effect would have been that it changes your animations from the, uh, the current body type that you have, the current gender that your character has, to the other one. So, you know, it, it seems to symbolize something involving Merica and Radagon being both male and female, um, or whatever, female and male. Uh, and so... I wonder if we're going to learn more. Uh, I mean, I guess presumably we are going to learn more about Merica, um, you know, uh, before she became Radagon. I shall not try jumping off presently. Okay, so that seems to be it for let's over her. Uh, let me grab this. Uh, oh, I still haven't tried out that fire pad. Hefty boy. Okay. Daylight has returned. Right. It seems like there's probably not much in these woods, so I'm just gonna give it a quick, quick glance. And what was that that I just saw? That was just a few. Rada fruit. Oh, like Rada gone? Uh -huh. I wonder if that's related to this. Uh -huh. Mesmer's got Radagon's hair, so maybe, maybe uh, it's all, it's all stemming from him. Uh -huh. uh Yeah, there doesn't seem to be much going on here. I'm just weaving back and forth through the woods, because that's my the way I explore shit. Oh my goodness. What was that? Uh, I wonder if killing that bird before it flies away. Will uh, 
result in me getting some kind of loot, perhaps. It's something to come back to. Um, let's put a diamond there for now. That is something to come back and investigate. where we start. So, uh, let's go check out this other hanging tree real quick, because I don't think I checked this out, and then I shall head toward the big boy. Oh, I have to use the, the blessing. Ooh, what's that? Hmm. It is a larval tear. Material needed by Renala to grant rebirth. An exceptionally rare creature that burgeons from spirit graves and lives only a fleeting existence. Neither flesh nor spirit, but something in between. Material required by the Amber A, cradled by Renala, queen of the full moon, to birth people anew. Being born anew allows the reallocation of stats, blah blah blah. Um, key items. Let's compare that to the regular Marvel Tears. Ah, uh, you can see it's like a, a fetus looking type of thing. Very interesting. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. Okay. Great. Let's fast travel to the Greece. And, uh, yeah. So, what direction am I going to go in? Well, of course, I said, I'm clearly supposed to go this way, so now I'm going to go this way. Uh, yeah. We're going to check that out. We're going to check this out. We're going to check this out. Uh, it looks like those are red rooftops. I doubt that that's anything to do with, like, Scarlet Rot. Travel to the Scorched Ruins in the Realm of Shadow. My friend, Acacia Vix, just asked me what a good build is for the Stormrock Axe, and Ray said dex, but it's not a dex weapon, it's a strength weapon. Ray, you idiot. It's a strength weapon, you silly goose. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me use the... Uh, Scatter tree blessing. Shadow realm blessing. Use one scatter tree. Fragment to empower. Blessing. Blessing empowered. Interesting. So now my shit is boosted. Very interesting. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. So without any gear on. So it's about a nine. 5% increase. Interesting. Very interesting. And I assume that applies to my weapon damage, too. Aha! Okay. I told you those were critters of some kind. How hard is it going to kick my ass? A stone? I can't tell. Drops a smithing stone for X2. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, and yeah, I want to try the new weapons out that I picked up. Um, I'm going to go, once I get a couple more of them, I'm going to go and upgrade a bunch of stuff all at once. Um, I don't want to go upgrade something every five minutes. So. That's how I'm going to play this. These critters have very low poise, whatever they are, and they're not nearly as intimidating as they look. They're piggybacking off of the, the threat posed by the birds in the base game. Why am I blocking the sword? 
Oh, and by the way, I'm in New Game Plus 3, so maybe the enemies here aren't quite as strong as I feel like they are. I'm pretty sure the characters in New Game Plus 3. How many, uh, let's find out. Hang on. I have three of those, uh, three of these, uh, yeah, I have three Terra Magicas, so I'm definitely in at least New Game Plus 3. I'm pretty sure it's New Game Plus 3. Is this the entrance again? Oh, I just keep ending up back here. Jesus Christ. Diabetor, you're an idiot. You keep going in circles. Hey. Shut up. <laughs> I'm playing the game. Very interesting. Very interesting. The time is currently late night. Oh, and also, I have a three-day weekend, um, so after I work tonight, I'm off for the next three days. I'm gonna try streaming, I think? I've never streamed before, and I want to stream myself playing this. So I'm gonna try streaming. Um, I stocked up on a bunch of goodies. Like, I got my mozzarella sticks, or as I like to call them, my mozzarellis. Uh, I got uh, cherry Pepsi. I got a bunch of ice cream, because ice cream is my favorite thing in the world. In the morning, I'm gonna get a calzone. Uh, and I'm just gonna... Oh my goodness. What the fuck? And I'm just gonna enjoy this gaming event for this weekend. And then my life will be complete and I will no longer have reason to continue living. No, I'm joking. But still, yeah. Uh, so I'm excited for this weekend, and yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So what are... Wait, mushrooms. I always need mushrooms. What are these things, I wonder? Can I interact with them? They appear to be spectral. Oh! Oh, they're all mad now. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Uh... You can calm down. Oh, he's not attacking. Okay. That's interesting. Very interesting. They do stop being aggro once they lose aggro. These things may or may not somehow be important to the game, so I don't know if I'm supposed to kill them or not. So, presently, I'm just going to leave them alone. They seem like they're probably just com some kind of fodder, like, um, you know, stationary shit. Like a, a flipping land squirts or Miranda sprouts or whatever, but um, I'm going to not kill them for now. But then if it turns out that you're supposed to kill as many of them as possible, then I will have the egg on my face. What am I being murdered by? There's a bird up there. Let's kill this thing before. Can I even backstab it? Probably not. Hit combo. Oh, don't kill me. I don't want to die! Oh, you know what I should do? I should switch over to this lady. That should be shiny. Diabetor, you're new playing with shields. Hey. It's fun. Shields are fun. I haven't even wanted to use shields. I also dodge. I can dodge attacks, but 
I like using the shield, especially against enemies that shields may or may not be effective against, you know? So what's in this? Ooh, this is a dungeon or some kind. The summoning pool is not functional, and it is referred to as the Western Nameless Mausoleum. Hmm. Okay. So there's your your ruins with cellars that have bosses. Uh, before I go into that, let me take a look at what's around here. There is, of course, another big old tree. No one hanging from it. So that's good to see. Underground tomb ahead. Uh, the message told me that there's an underground tomb ahead, but I can't go into the underground tomb. Why would there be a message there if there's no underground tomb? messages. Um, I am going to use the... I should probably go with my trusty Flamberge. I kind of want to use something like... Eh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens as we uh, get in there. But for now, I'm going to use the Flamberge. I'm going to use this bad boy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Drink my Physic. This has... I think Opaline and Lingid. Yeah. Standard universal mix. Cast Hal the Shiguri. Shield Vitality. Golden Vow. Apply Blood Grease to this bad boy. Prepare the Hefty Fire Pots. And let's do this. Black Jail Knight. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Yeah, no. That armor looks badass as fuck. Vacuum slice, and he has like a follow up to it. Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. Alright, anything change at daytime? Does not appear so. Oh, spirit jellyfish is what I wanted to compare them to, not the fucking uh, land squirts. Wait, what is that? What is that? It's either a ram. Oh, it's just a ram. Okay. Let's roll. Alright, motherfucker, round two. We're gonna use faster weapon against you, I think. Um, what's good for killing NPCs? I don't wanna keep using the same shit, and I don't wanna just cheese him with shield crash. Uh, how about the. Uh, Deer some flame, flame birch. Why not? Why <laughs> <laughs> what a original idea you've had, Diabula. I won't cast Hal this time. This dude has a fuckload of damage resistance by the looks of it, but uh, yeah. Oh, and I should cast this instead of what you just... Oh, uh, yes. Um, Alright, let's do this. armor through my shit.
Let me uh, switch this over to something like. Well, let me go with that. Huh. Ooh. Almost got fucking owned there. So he's healing fast. Why wouldn't he? I want to see if I can get a backstab. I'm doing like no fucking damage to this dude. Oh, speaking of no damage, maybe I should use, uh, use some of this. Oh, he can be. That's unusual for a spirit. I did my own backstep attack, but uh, it didn't go super well. better, fucker. Get the fuck out of here. Hell fucking yeah, he dropped his whole shit. The Great Sword of Solitude, Helm of Solitude, Armor of Solitude, Gauntlets of Solitude, and Greaves of Solitude. And they all look badass as fuck. Solitary Moonslash. This is a strength weapon. <coughs> Excuse me. Steel greatsword wielded by the knights of the solitary jail. Through a secret rite, they relinquished their hearts for heightened battle prowess. Next, they engraved their blades with two crests, one depicting the light of birth, and the other, solitude. Solitary moonslash. Sharply slashed downward using the greatsword, shooting forward an arc of light. Strong attack allows for an advanced follow-up. So yeah, it's vacuum slice, but more. Though, Vacuum Slice is like perfectly vertical, this one is like a little tilted to the side. But uh, actually let's look at what this full set looks like. Uh oh. Um, hmm. Where is it? Helm of Solitude. Steel Helm of the Knights of Solitary Jail. Part of a heavy armor set that covers the whole body in overlapping plates of steel. The nameless mausoleums of the Realm of Shadow are said to hold the spirits of warriors who lost their names or their hearts. Blah blah blah. Covers the whole body in overlapping plates of steel and be decked with a black cloak. Goblets. Greaves. It's heavy as fuck. But it also looks so fucking cool. Holy shit. Wow. I like to see what it looks like not all or uh, without the cape because uh, I'm not a I'm not a cape guy but that is some some pretty cool looking fucking armor dude Interesting. Very interesting indeed. That was a pretty cool fight. I can imagine that you can just uh, 
Or I imagine that you can easily just cheese him with uh, another fucking shield crash. So maybe I'll upload a video about that. Uh, yeah. Is there anything over here? Okay, so I said I wanted to go up to this, but I don't think I have any way of getting up there from here. Um, there's no way to ascend the cliff. And... Yeah. Uh, so you probably have to come at that from, like, this way or something, I bet. Or something. Who knows? We'll find out eventually. Uh, but for now, while I'm here, uh, let's see what happens when I do this. Uh, I knew that I was going to have to follow up. Uh, their faces are fucking weird. Ooh. That drained my stamina. might I use to kill them? Save your blade. Okay. Holy seems to be reasonably effective against these guys. They don't drop very many runes and may or may not drop any items. this last one. <laughs> yeah. They probably don't drop anything, so let's just roll. Right. So I guess we're going towards the big boy with the capital B. Oh hey, here's regular goats. Let me uh, fast travel to the ruins, and then I shall confront the big boy. I assume I'm not going to be able to kill this guy, but I'm sure going to try. Okay. Did he just fall? That was uh, that's bad game design, is what that is. Uh, yeah. So we'll have to come back to this stuff later. Um, Right, I will approach him, but first I just want to see what this little, this little kajigger is. There's a bunch of graves over here. Actual physical graves. As well as shadow boys. piece of a gravestone that has started to turn into a spirit. Material use for crafting items. When they found on a gravesite plain, in places where the dead have been brought since antiquity, the oldest gravestones turn into spirits and then fade away. And that's a comma at the end. Uh, fucking quality control. Uh, hello. Worst game ever made. Wait. Oh. Okay. I should probably drink some water and get some breakfast, but I'm not going to.
That wasn't his bone, it was the bone he was chewing. <laughs> I don't mind if I do. That's a painting. The Sacred Tower painting. Interesting. Very interesting. Reminiscence of the painting of the Sacred Tower. Work of a wandering artist. Painting of reminiscence of a painting titled The Sacred Tower. The painter is said to have captured the landscape seen during the last moments of those welcomed into death's embrace. The soul of the painter and vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. Can I not get a better look at it? Okay. Uh, so there's some buildings and stuff, so we'll have to keep an eye out for whatever the fuck that is. I wonder if... What's that called? Is that called dithering? I want to say it's dithering. You see it's like pixelated looking. I wonder... It looks like it's just a rendering thing, maybe. Interesting. Very interesting. Right. Well, I guess the rain means that it is optimal time to fight the guy who was made out of fire. So, uh... Let's do this. Yeah, it's a fuckload of health. Ugh! Okay. I got a much bigger AoE than I expected. Probably have to jump that. Let's, uh. Yeah, okay. You have to jump it as it comes at you, not as the foot lands. Yep. Did that one too early. Let's try a strike weapon against this fucker. see the number there. Let's do it. A lot more damage by the looks of it. Okay, if you're up close, you can dodge it pretty fairly early. Yeah. They don't have that much poise by the looks of it, so that's good. Ah. Uh, not that early. Oh, something I wanted to test out is because I tested out the Elden Beast fight with Torrent earlier, because they made it so you can ride Torrent during the Elden Beast fight. You see how I didn't get hit by that? I think they added some um, iframes to Torrent's jump. Um, I want to investigate that or see if anyone says anything about that, because that would be an extremely interesting if it was true. Um, I'm not going to act like I know for sure, but it would be very interesting. I'm trying lightning against this guy because, you know, it's made out of metal. Maybe they're weak to holy. I'm willing to bet this thing's weak to holy. Let's try fire. Let's see what happens here. Oh shit, I think it's, I broke its leg and got an actual poise break on it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so these things do have a fuckload of poise. Every now and again you get like a minor poise break or something, I guess. I 
I gotta say, I really like the pattern of jumping those stomps. Yeah, see, like, that's not like a full poise break or something. I don't know. Don't die now, Diabidor! Uh, don't even go for the charge heavy attacks right now, just uh... explode oh deflecting hard tear why don't mind if i fucking do and the furnace visage very interesting so they're like uh her tree avatars i suppose material used for crafting items exceedingly rare smaller imitation of the furnace goblin's visage material used for crafting items exceedingly rare a stone mask surrounded by curled horns depicting the fell god of fire that haunts the sagas of the horn scent very interesting hmm. and this is enhances spontaneous guard so this is the um perfect block t uh, tier that i've heard of crystal tier forms slowly over the ages where the scattered sap of the scatter tree pulls deep within the furnace golems can be mixed with classical hunter's physic, blah blah blah. Damage negation and guard poise will be heightened in the moment immediately after assuming a guarding stance. Successfully expanding, uh, uh, successfully executing a spontaneous guard will also strengthen guard counters. Well, of course I'm going to have to check that out. That sounds very cool. Very cool. Wow, that was a that was a good fight. That was pretty fun. Uh, yeah. I guess I'm going to that big, enormous archway that Vati went to, or Vati showed himself going to. And by that big, enormous archway, I mean whatever is over here. Oh, I still have yet to try out a fire pod. What are you? The candle tree guys, okay. What I really want is the throwing great hammer. Oh, here's the backhand blade. Very nice. I imagine these guys are resistant to fire, but I want to try out the fire pod. Oh, he casts golden bell. Wow, that make a big boom. Oh. Uh, I have just the thing for this. What weapon did I put it on? I think I put it on this. <laughs> Fuck. Ooh. I didn't have that to follow up. Why do you have the Fort Patchet, Diabedor? Because they buffed its damage. And I always like the, the Fort Patchet. It, it does um, pierce damage, so on paper it should be fairly good. And now that they buffed it, it might actually be half decent. Certainly doing good damage, I'll tell you that. You guys might be weak to pierce or something. Ooh. This. Oh, that's where I already was. <laughs> uh, David, are you a fucking idiot? Yeah, I know. Backhand, I believe. 
with the blind spot Ash of War, which I can take off of it. Interesting. Curved blade wielded with a backhand grip, type of weapon wielded by horn scent for generations. The style of combat associated with this weapon is marked by spinning slashes and gouging thrust attacks. Blind spot. Leap into close quarters to take advantage of the enemy's blind spot and gore them from the side. Inputs determine which side you strike from. The attack slips below the opponent's guard. Very interesting. That sounds cool as fuck. And it is a paired weapon. So it goes slash, slash, thrust, slash, thrust, or slash, slash, slash. Okay. Spin technique. Ooh, that's good. That running R2 is going to be fucking cancer in, in fucking PvP, isn't it? Really long R1 combo for no particular reason. Wow. That's gonna be annoying as hell in fucking PvP. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. This one lets you keep running. Wow. This one lets you do the R1 without slowing down. <gasps> That's pretty cool. Fuck you! Haha! <laughs> just keep going. Neat! And let's see what blind spot is. Interesting. I wonder how the, um... Because it says inputs determine what side you strike from, so I don't... I assume it's a directional thing, like quick step or whatever, but... Uh... I don't know. It requires further investigation. For now, I'm going to use the old mace, I think. Baka, motherfucker! That's a building of some kind. What is going on down there? fighting each other. They don't look like Omen. No, there's something completely different. Okay. Neat. Big old planes. Okay. I'm going to need to sit at set of Grease. Those candle tree guys give me a bunch of uh Healing flask, but still. There we go. These things are covered in or made of stone, and they do appear to be weak to strike by the looks of it. Diabetor, you suck. Yeah, I know. You don't have to be mean about it. You know? I bet you there's a static base by this bridge. Okay, while I am here, let me go to the Wondrous Physic, and I shall try out this bad boy. I am specifically waiting until I get one of the new throwing weapons, like the throwing dagger or the, the hammer or whatever, um, before I go upgrade my shit for all the, the new shit that I found. Uh, I do want to try out the new stuff, but the they made it so tedious to upgrade weapons now because of the way they changed the, the way the input delay works in the menus, um, and they just made it so tedious to, to change weapons, or to upgrade weapons at you that, uh, I just want to do them in bulk all at once so I don't have to do it for 30 minutes, you know. So, yeah. Okay. 
I might just be stupid. That one looked like it was slightly larger than the others, but it might just be the way it was standing. circling my way around up to that big archway, but first I'm going to see what's over in these areas. Okay. If that leads all the way over there, then I will come over here. I believe there's an NPC to talk to here, according to Vati's video. Uh-huh, there's multiple NPCs. Let's grab the roots first. Let's get a true fragment, don't mind if I do. Who are you? Oh, you're the one with the really badass armor. Ah. Lady Leda spoke of you. You're that tarnished. Guided here by kindly Mikola. Won't we all? I am Freya. I once fought alongside General Radan. In battle, you can be sure I'll hold my own. In battle. Oh, another thing. Did you speak to our dour little friend? If you've yet to do so, have him give you a map of the Cross's whereabouts. You'll find more of them dotted about these lands. They are Mikola the Kind's footprints. Mikola the Kind. If you've yet to do so, assuming you intend to trace Kind Mikola's path. Okay. What's this? Empyrean Blood Virgin. What the fuck is that? Material use for crafting items, exceedingly rare. Young shoot, heavy with Empyrean blood. Said to burgeon forth from where the golden blood of Nicola, the wounded Empyrean, pulled. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Hello, mean guy who doesn't like me. Fie. Another. Treading the heels of Nicola. Then, as that woman would surely say, we are in our purposes well aligned, but understand, your kind are not forgiven. The Earth Tree is my people's enemy. By Marika long betrayed, set aflame. I believe Mikkel's apologies. When he says our delivery will come, but never will I see your kind as worthy. This guy appears to have horns, kind of like an omen. Uh, yeah, get that upskirt. Uh, and yet my oath I cannot overlook. If Mikola it is whom you would seek, then comrade, allow me to give you this. These are the sights of the crosses I found. I urge you, follow after Mikola. As long as you abide by his footfalls, you will be no enemy to me. Cross map. Map of cross has received check in I urge you, as long as you are I heard as long as you... Okay. Map marked with locations of golden crosses. Examine simple map, map drafted by a horn scent. Ah, okay. The horn scent. It is, in fact, the fact that they have horns. Marked with locations of golden crosses. These indicate Nicholas' footprints. So, presumably, that's not going to actually mark anything on my map. But... does this do? Carved words coalesce. I abandon here the first of the flesh of my body. See holy butthole. <laughs> uh, okay. If you've yet assuming you assuming you intend to trace Queen Nicola's path. Crikey. I know she's Irish now. Not sure, but still. I like to make fun of people with accents that aren't American, because that's, uh, that's how I do. Uh, interesting. In battle. You can be sure In I'll battle. hold my own. In battle. <laughs> I you as long as you... Uh, What's that? Nothing. It's just a 
temporary strange lighting issue at a distance. This video is an hour and a half long, so I'm going to cut it, and then uh, I will continue to play.